Hey everyone, this is Eric Tippett. It is a beautiful day and I am feeling inspired to shoot this quick video called How to Turbo Boost the Growth of Your Business. And it could be in your network marketing business, your small business, home business, whatever business it might be. All right, the number one tip or strategy that I always talk about is become a pace setter, meaning I, you need to show people how quick and how fast and what the pace of growth you want your business. This is one of the biggest things I, I notice all the time, especially in network marketing, is that you'll watch people get into a home business and then they'll try to go and recruit people that they think are perfect salespeople and they're outgoing and hey, and if I just get them, I can sit back and I can watch TV and, and just make money on everything that they're doing and I don't have to do anything. Well, first of all, most people that are go-getters and are drivers are not gonna sit and build the business for you. They want to be inspired and they want to join people that are going at the same pace as they are. So if you want to uh, hyper growth your business, you need to show people how to hyper growth your business and their business. Because what you'll find is that as you speed up and as you set the pace for things going extremely quick and you've got meetings going on, you've got opportunities going on, what you'll find is that everybody wants to keep up with you. And they want to not let you down. They want to be a part of that growth, a part of what you're doing, a part of the momentum, the growth, the excitement of what's happening. But if you're, you know, on vacation all the time, and you're sitting at home all the time, and you every once in a while kind of work your business a little bit, what you'll find is that they mimic you. I call it attention management, meaning everybody's got all of these things that they're looking at. And unless you actually show them where to focus, where to put their attention, there's too many things that they're focused on and it won't be you. It won't be your organization. It won't be building your business, uh, their business, the organization. So I, a second is as you're setting the pace and as people start really starting to rock and really starting to become a part of that momentum, reward them. That's a major thing that I notice most people do not do is reward. Now, it doesn't have to be some big, uh, hey, here's a thousand dollars here. No, it can be as simple as recognizing them on Facebook, recognizing them on the social media that, hey, this person is doing a great job. Hey, this person just recruited one person. Great job, Bob. Great job, Susie. Oh man, they're really rocking and rolling. And what you'll find is that that gets that builds up the excitement, builds up the want to actually go out there and approach people. Because again, at the end of the day, typically and a lot of times at network marketing, a lot of people are on their own. And so they're trying to figure out like, well, how do I go and approach people? They're, they're scared to pick up the phone. But if they find that they, they do something and it's rewarded or it's recognized, they want to do more of it. Okay, and the third thing is, you want to make sure that you set a standard of what your brand or what your organization or what your company is about. And I always talk about positively outrageous service, POS, positively outrageous service. You want people to equate working with you, being associated with you as being associated with positively outrageous service or a positively outrageous team that you know what, you go far up and beyond what the norm does. And they're super excited to be a part of your organization or be a, associated with your company. So one of the biggest things as you watch this video and as you really, and again, I always tell people, be truthful with yourself. Do you really feel like you're setting a pace that you, that you want for your organization? Are you doing the things that you're asking your team to do or you're hoping that they will? Because I, I mean, I look at it and I say, well, are you, are you, as they turn around and look at you, are you doing the things that you're wanting them to do? Okay, makes sense. And, and again, this is really something to be truthful with yourself as far as if you feel like you're putting in the time and you're really setting the pace that you're hoping that your organization or your company growth is, uh, is following. So have a great day, super excited to be working with many of you at the live events, the support for my book to the top. 
Thank you so much. So much more to come. Go to erictippets.com. Much more there, and we'll see you soon.